सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू द चैनल माई सेल्फ शुभ हम करेंटली स्टडिंग इन एम डी सेकेंड ईयर इन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ परपेचुअल हेल्प इन फिलीपींस लाइक इट वॉज डिक्लेयर दैट आवर क्लासेज आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मार्च सो सुपर सून आई एम गोइंग टू एम डी थर्ड ईयर बट इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ यू कैन फिल एन मैट फॉर्म सो एन मैट इज बेसिकली एग्जाम दैट इज सिमिलर टू नीट यू जी दैट वी गिव इन इंडिया टू गेट इन टू अ मेड स्कूल इन फिलीपींस ओके विच अवर मेड स्कूल यू वॉन्ट टू गेट in philippines so you have to give nmet examination okay you need that certificate that you have appeared nmet examination there are also qualifying marks that you need this much percentile in nmet if you want to get into xyz college in philippines okay so and if you have time do spare a minute and subscribe to the channel do hit a like and yeah if you have any doubts you can follow me on my instagram handle okay you can follow me over there and let's now get into the video so i'll just take you to my laptop screen so guys coming on to the laptop screen so this is the page that you have to come to fill the nmat form okay so here it's written the eligibility and registration requirements so all the regis all the rules are over here you can once go through these okay and if you want to come to this site you have to type cem hyphen inc.org.ph in google you can type this and you can see this page will arise okay so here the eligibility and registration requirements are written over here you can go through all these rules once okay and basically nmat is a national medical admission test which is a online registration system because of the covid and obviously this link i'll provide this link in the description okay if you want to fill the form you can directly go to the description of the video and go to this link and you will directly be directed to this page so you won't face any problem guys okay coming on to this page and then you have to go to register and then you have to fill the email it's written over here it's mandatory and the email that you fill over here has to be a email like newly formed email or a email that you have not used previously to fill the nmat form okay so i'm done with creating a new email so coming on to the page so here you have to type the email so जो पॉल वन टू सेवन नाइन नाइन एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एंड ऑब्वियसली आई एम नॉट अ रोबोट एंड देन क्रिएट न्यू अकाउंट एंड देन देर इज अंड इट्स रिटर्न ओवर योर योर पासवर्ड इन फर्दर डिटेल्स हैव बिन सेंड टू योर ई मेल एड्रेस सो यू हैव टू गो टू योर ई मेल एड्रेस एंड देन यू हैव टू डू कन्फर्म योर ई मेल सो वंस यू हैव कन्फर्म योर ई मेल सो यू विल get a link to reset your password okay so it isn't showing over here so directly you'll get this screen where you'll be directed to change your password and then confirm your password okay so you can type any password that you like and do remember you have to just uh, get a note of this password write it somewhere access denied it doesn't matter if it shows directly go to login so in login you will have to write the email and also the password that you had set for this user account okay just type it and then the password and i am not a robot login and once you are done with the login your account is created you can see over here and then yeah it's all right and then you have to go to new registration and the form arises so you have to choose first the test date and test center the country i'm obviously a indian so here you have to write others because we are not in philippines so you have to write others okay test date you can select anything i'm selecting may 8 and do remember one thing that these all the times are in philippines time okay and if you see indian and philippine time difference it's for 2 hours and 30 minutes test center is international and these are all the nmat terms and conditions okay there are basically all the terms and conditions so there are eight terms and conditions next so you have to do like all the terms and conditions you have to agree and then press next okay so try to do this quickly and once you are done with all these so like you have to do all agree and next keep on doing agree next agree next okay 
this is the consent agreement the last one once you do submit I don't know why the net is sucking but yeah so once you are done so another form will arise okay and met application form so the country test date and test center we have filled it previously nationality so India Indian yeah and then the passport number the passport number you have you have to type it I'm typing it randomly and then you have to type the expiry date of the passport it's mentioned in the passport only you can check over there and once you are done with it then you have to type the place of issue of the passport it is also mentioned in the passport and then you have to write the surname that is the last name given name is the first name you have to type the first name and then the middle name if you don't have any middle name you have to type a hyphen or else you can write the middle name and for the suffix generally Indians don't have a suffix okay so just write na and then coming to the mailing address you need a philippine address okay so for this like for the students who are in perpetual you can write this metro manila or else you can write my address also so if you write my address i get a mail of the hard copy of the philippine of the nmat result okay then i can provide you with that nmat result you can contact me for that if you are giving my address okay because the hard copy of the nmat result gets mailed or gets sent into this address that you are giving philippine address it's metro manila las pinas city and barangay is uh, pamplona tres 1740 and my house address is 86 d same over here 86 d and street name is a bit funny but it's butterfly street and coming to the subdivision so it is sent uh, St. Mary's Village. So you can type this address. And then uh, we'll come over here. So international address you have to select and write your own address. Like uh, the address in which you are staying over here in India. So I'll fill up my address quickly. I'm from Odisha. And 756101 is my postal code. Select the country that is India. Then coming to other information, a landline, uh, I'll do NA and for mobile number type first a plus then 91 then hyphen after hyphen you can write the Indian number that you have okay like any number you have you can type it like I'll type 7064450613 that is the number that I usually respond to the YouTube doubts you are having you can text or call me in this number. And I'll select my birth date that is 30 May 2000. This is my actual birth date. You can wish me on that. Gender, obviously a male, single. And then coming to the education. So here you have to select uh, like the college that you are studying in. Okay. So if you are studying in perpetual, you have to select Metro Manila. Okay. And then name of the college. If you are studying in AMA, you can select AMA College that is in Makati City for Indians sorry international students or else you can search for university of perpetual help that is u university of perpetual help system delta yeah and then the college the degree is ab in psychology for perpetual students and for ama i think it is bs or any other college here it is yes and do you have a medical condition that requires special assistant no Anyways, you are giving an uh, online exam. You also know. First choice, you can select any college, but choose the college that you are studying in now. So, University of Perpetual Health System, Jonalta School of Medicine, another one is Tamayo. And third one, you can select anything. Okay, doesn't matter. Here, you ch choose SS because uh, we are not taking coaching from any institute for NMAT. So, yeah. No. And then you have to upload the photo. Okay, for this photo, you need to have a 1200 into 1200 pixels per density and it should be less than 2 MB and it should be in the form of JPG or PNG. Choose the file. So I have already made the photo. So yeah, it's not my photo, but yeah, then you have to upload the file. And once you are done with the uploading of the file, then you can press next.
it's taking a bit of time and and then here comes the review mailing address yes it's correct and accurate so next yeah you can check the address over here also next and then this is the review application like all the details you have filled over here you can check the mail id your name all the information because here you can only edit it or else you won't be able to edit next and then coming on to this here are like uh, some questions like what's your father's occupation what is your mother's occupation okay so here like uh, try to fill the closest like my father is a businessman so i won't find here the business so others so what is the highest education attainment of your father so uh, i think yeah college graduate you might face a bit of difficulty because in india it's a bit different but yeah it's a college graduate how do you classify your hometown is urban to which college uh, which range of families so here it's it's in filipino pesos try converting your inr into filipino pesos and then fill it up okay so one filipino peso is basically 1.51 inr so convert the inr into filipino peso and then and mathematics favorite subject you can fill your favorite subjects okay the best marks in college so i'll fill it as maths which of the following is the strongest reason for choosing your college course yeah you can choose according to your preferences the likings that you have the dislikes that you have so it's basically about the personal interest of a student what are his or her likes and dislikes so for this yeah human relation skills which of the following do you consider a probable deterrent to your goal of becoming a medical profession choice of medical school yeah you can fill it up i am i'm just randomly filling all this stuff because i want to show you how to fill a and met form i'm not filling for myself so you can fill this up randomly okay because these questions are for your personal interest so guys just fill it up and once you are done filling all the 20 questions that are over here uh yeah in my hometown so once you are done filling all the 20 questions press submit and once you press submit you will be directed to the fees section the payment that you have to do so you can payment from dragon pay payment okay that is through credit card or also debit card okay but that has to be a global card and the fees is 63 usd dollars 15 dollars and 45 dollars and 3 dollars is the transaction charge so this is the page of dragon pay here you can select credit card and debit card agree and then select so once you press select it will be redirected to the payments page here you can see so here one thing you have to note is you have to use a mastercard or visa card so if you are using rupee card it it own it isn't a global card so your payment you you might face some problem in the payment the payment might decline so here you can do the payment and and it usually takes around one day to one hour to one day to get the payment confirmation and once your payment gets confirmed so you will be notified with some email to the same email address through which the account was created your application number of the nmat and all the details you'll get about the nmat okay so yeah so that is the mail address and the password you need to remember because all your details uh, if you want all your details you have to come and log in in the user account section okay so yeah guys this is it for the video guys i hope you can fill the form easily and if you have any doubts you can text me on instagram